All right, welcome to episode number five from chapter 14. And in this episode, we're going to cover what are some of the autosomal disorders that humans have. All right, so these are basically genetic diseases where the genes are found on the autosomes. And if you remember, autosomes are the first 22 chromosomes. So they're given numbers, chromosome one, chromosome two, chromosome three, et cetera, et cetera. Those are your autosomes. They're the non-sex chromosomes. Remember, sex chromosomes get letters the X and the Y. All right, so let's look at this little table here. All right, now these are caused by recessive alleles. So which means you have to be homozygous recessive. All right, so in other words, you need two copies of this allele. Okay, so we have albinism, which we uh, had on a previous uh, screencast. This is the lack of pigment in your skin, your hair, and your eyes. So your skin is pretty much white. Uh, your hair is white, but your eyes look pink because the blood vessels are showing through there. Okay, cystic fibrosis, we're going to cover this one on the next slide, but basically you have an excess of mucus in the lungs, your digestive tract, which includes your liver, and you typically are very um, prone to infections and, you know, ammonia, or uh, ammonia, let me try this again, pneumonia typically uh, ends the life of these individuals. However, there has been some unbelievable uh, advances in medicine over the last couple of decades. And these people used to have a hard time living to be 20. Now they live in their 40s. So medicine has effectively doubled the lifespan of somebody with cystic fibrosis. Okay, this one is pronounced galactosemia. This is an accumulation of galactose, which is a type of sugar. And what this can lead to is eye and liver damage and some mental retardation because it's going to affect your brain chemistry. PKU, which we talked about on the last series, accumulation of phenylalanine in your tissue. Uh, your pigment is not normal in your skin, but the worst part is the mental retardation again. If you keep phenylalanine out of your diet, then these people come out to be absolutely positively normal. All right? Tay-Sachs disease, uh, a very rare allele, which will lead to lipid accumulation in the brain cells. This will really impact how the brain functions, and uh, typically there's death in early childhood, around five, six, seven years old. So very, very sad genetic disease. Okay, these individuals down here with the dominant alleles, remember, you can either be homozygous dominant or get this, or much more common, they're just heterozygous. So you only need one copy. Okay, uh, on the previous screencast, I talked about the television show on TLC called Little People, Big World. This is the type of dwarfism that they have. Uh, Huntington's disease is another uh, rare, but you will also find this, uh, really, it's it's uncommon, but it's kind of one of the more ones that you see. Um, it's Huntington's disease. And this one, it causes a mental deterioration, but it really happens around midlife. So you're talking around your 40s or 50s. The first 40 years of your life are just perfect. And then all of a sudden, your brain is starting to die from within. And so what that means, though, is that you've probably have already passed on that allele to your kids, and they'll probably get the same fate. So very, very, very rare disease, but... Uh, like Tay-Sachs, very, very sad, okay? Hypercholesterolemia, this is people who just are genetically prone to very, very high cholesterol, and this can lead to a heart attack um, early in life, say in your 20s, 30s, 40s, all right? So, and then another one that we're going to spend an entire screencast on, this one is called by codominant alleles. So in other words, the heterozygous individuals can have the, the issue too. This is called sickle cell disease, and what happens in here is your red blood cells have a wrong shape of their sickle, they kind of look like that. And what happens is that they, they clog up the blood vessels and the blood doesn't get to the organs and that can cause pain and, and typically an early death. But um, proper behaviors and different types of medications can help alleviate this one. So, um, but we'll talk about this one in much more detail. All right, so let's go on to, we got here, cystic fibrosis. All right. Cystic fibrosis is caused by a recessive allele on chromosome number seven. So this is one of your autosomes. And if you look right down here in this picture, here's the cystic fibrosis gene, and it's found on, let me write here on this for you. This would be the P arm, and this would be the Q arm. So this is on the Q arm of chromosome number seven. And what happens in this one is, is you've got a codon that has been deleted. Okay, so remember, three bases is a codon. 
So one codon is deleted, which means there's one amino acid missing from this protein. And this is a protein that actually acts as an ion channel, okay? So this ion channel cannot move ions in and out. And what this leads to is that you have a lot of very thick mucus that's going to plug up your duct. So any tube that's used for breathing, any tube that's used for digestion, they're going to be plugged up with this very, very thick mucus, okay? Now, like I said before, there is a ton of advances in medicine over the last 20 years, and we've effectively doubled the lifespan of people with cystic fibrosis. They used to have a tendency to have a hard time living to being 20, and now they can go into their 30s and maybe their early 40s. So uh, this allele is found in populations that originate from Northern Europe. So most Americans, um, they're Europeans, and so this allele we would find in a number of American families. Okay. All right, we're going to stop this episode right here. Our next episode is on sickle cell disease, and that's going to be a little bit more common in individuals of African descent. So until our next episode, we'll catch you on the flip side.